We all know that there's a ton of golf training aids out there on the market, but I'm a firm believer that this crazy looking thing attached to my club right here is gonna help you fix your slice for good. Hey guys, it's Michael, your expert caddy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, not only so you don't miss another video, but I give you free golf tips to help your game. Super easy to understand. But today we're talking about the Watson Golf Hanger Training Aid. It might look like something crazy attached to the club right here, but this thing actually really, really helps control the club face and really get rid of your slice because what it's gonna do is prevent you from opening the club face. I'm gonna show you how it works right now. This thing looks pretty crazy, you know, standing over the club. Out of the box, you may not think, you know, what this is used for, but this is gonna help us control that club face, give us that instant feedback, that repetition that's gonna help us keep that club face square throughout our swing. Let me show you how it works, how it attaches to the club right now. This thing's pretty cool. All right, so the Watson Golf Hanger Training Aid. Pretty much comes in two pieces. You attach them and then attach the top to the butt of the club and then the bottom to the bottom of the grip. And then it has a little club face right here that I'm gonna show you. It should line up to the club face on your actual club. That way when you hold onto the club, you have that visualization of two things square. So with this, you can actually hit balls. So you have this green, kind of exterior piece right here. This is gonna be the game changer that I'm talking about and keeping that club face square. So when we set up to the ball right here, or we just set up with the swing, we want to put our hands in between the two pieces like this. And this green piece is kind of in between our forearms like this. That's kind of where we wanna be when we set up. Now, when we take the club back a quarter of the way, this green piece should be touching your forearm. Now, if it's not touching your forearm, what that means is that the club face is gonna be open because take a look at this. If we take the club face back and we're not touching, now look at where this club face is, we're open. But if we're touching our front forearm with this piece like this, this club face is staying square. That instant feedback knowing, okay, this is touching my arm, I know it's square. So then when we take the club here, that light pressure on the front forearm. Now when we take it to the top, this is the game changing piece too. When we get to the top like this, we should still feel that pressure. What this is gonna do is this top wrist like this. What people tend to do is flare this wrist. Now see how we don't have this pressure right here of this green piece. That's gonna tell us, okay, the club face is open, watch. If we take this back and we're not touching, and I bring this club face back down to the ball, that's wide open. There's nothing we can do about it. But if we keep that pressure here, then at the top of the club, if we're keeping that pressure like this, keeping this front wrist stable and flat instead of open like this, almost like a bowed wrist feeling, meaning that the logo of our glove is pointing towards the sky. We have a flat wrist like this, keeping that pressure with this green piece. Now when we come through the ball, same thing. We're really gonna feel some more intense pressure pushing back at us with this green piece. What this is gonna tell us is, okay, we're keeping our hands in front of the ball like this. The hands are leading the swing, giving us that compression feeling, and the face is remaining square. Just because we tend to come open like this, we're not gonna feel that pressure. We're feeling that constant pressure throughout, here at the top, and then through, take a look. There's absolutely nothing, if you're feeling pressure in all three stages, the club face is gonna be square, right? So we're here, we're leading with the swing, everything's square, and we're coming through. Now we can even hit some shots with this training aid. I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so like I was saying, because of the unique design of this training aid, you can put your hands in between the two and take some full swings. So first I would say work in stages. Feel the pressure here, feel it up top, feel it coming through right? It's, it's honestly great feedback. So we can take some swings feeling that pressure. It's going to tell us everything along with the club face is staying square. So let's take the swing. Feeling, I'm really just focusing on feeling that pressure throughout. If I stop feeling the pressure, I know, okay, I open the club face. For me, I know that I like to open that club face, just be, especially on the way back. This kind of tells me, okay, I'm doing that. So let's hit a shot here. Let's see what happens. It's actually my first actual shot with this. So we're really gonna focus on that. There's nothing to worry about with this because we got a clean grip here. So let's hit a shot. 
that one shot crazy right initially my clubfish was just wide open and i knew that because i wasn't feeling that pressure let me get another ball and i'm gonna hit a couple more trying to dial that in with the training aid then i'll take it off and kind of explain to you guys what i'm feeling all right let's hit let's hit another shot here gonna really just try to feel that coming through the ball keeping that pressure even after the swing which means you're gonna release the club like this so let's feel that better straightened it out a little bit feels a lot better it's definitely a little weird with this thing on but it's kind of over exaggerating the fix for you especially with this club head on here just that visualization of keeping everything square coming through the ball let's hit one more i'll take it off and then i'll let you guys know what i feel after it off if i'm squaring that up all right last one here You're gonna feel that over exaggerate the feel through the ball here we go there we go that was clean so let's now take this off my club and i'm gonna hit some shots normally and let you guys know how it feels still feeling as if there's something here all right, so I took it off the club. I'm going to set it right here. I'm going to feel that same feeling that I felt with the hanger on. And we're really going to feel like that square, over-exaggerated, right? It's okay if it goes left, especially if we're trying to fix a slice, right? Very nice. Little draw right there. That felt pretty good. Really feeling like my hand naturally now is going to go into that more bow position. There it is. That was smoked, very square, extremely square with this hanger. I mean, really great tool. I've never seen these before by Watson Golf, but this is honestly a great training. And I think for anyone, no matter what you're struggling with, to get that reinforcement of keeping the club head square is great. If you want to get yourself a Watson Golf hanger training aid, there's a link in the description with a code. And I believe for you guys special, you get 15% off. So make sure to check that out. Hanger is great. I think everyone should have one of these reinforcing keeping that club face square because if that club face is not square there's nothing we can really do you got to time it up perfectly great reinforcement right here again if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos bringing you three videos a week really excited about that and i'll see you in the next one